And uh, I wanted to get Leland. Leland. Leland fell in love with this song way back. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do that. We can't not we can't do, we can't not do that one, but we can't do that one until we do this one. Uh, when I was about, I guess about seventeen or eighteen years old, I was at a Waffle House. I was working at Waffle House, and I was uh, I was cooking and I was listening. Have you ever noticed? And now more than ever people that don't believe the same way you do have you noticed that they're really 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 vocal about their opinions anybody just me nobody else has noticed that uh, but they were making sure that the Christian in the room heard that they were not Christians I never have been able to understand it because if it's not for you, yeah. stay in your hole or whatever it is you're, you're in or whatever you want to call it if it's not for you. I, 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 I can't get the same thing with, you remember a few years back, they were, anybody remember Judge Roy Moore? Yeah, I mean, they, they, they literally took this guy out of office, elected office, over a monument of the Ten Commandments that they didn't even care what it had wrote on. That's the part I can't get to this day. I can't get. Why did they care so much? I mean, if you think about it, you take the Ten Commandments out of our law and see what kind of world we're living in, our country. It'd be lawless. And I believe that's about what they want. But these teenagers were voicing their opinion that the Bible was just a book full of fairy tales. And uh, God gave me these words and literally I went to the back room of Waffle House and I turned a napkin over and I, I wrote every word to this song down on the back of a napkin from start to finish. <clears throat> I knew exactly what chords I was going to play on the guitar when I got back home to put it all together. And never change. I've, I've had some people tell me I need to change some of the words. But I refused because the, the reason they said they wanted me to change the words was because it was too long. It's because it's a, it's a five over five minute song and they're like, nobody at radio is ever going to play a song over five minutes long and uh, anyway they uh, they were they were making sure that I heard what they had to say let's just put, leave it there and I sat down and I wrote these words and just think about this for a second just in your mind if you could just think about this if you could have seen not the fact that the stone was rolled away, but if you could have seen the look on Mary's face when she saw it. Yeah. It'd be different for us if we, I mean, you can go now to Jerusalem and you can see all sorts of things that uh, were, haven't changed a whole lot since then and now. They're still there. But the look on her face when she come walking down to that tomb to see if what she believed was going to be true or not. That's what the, the, the way this song kind of came about. And uh, it's been around a long time and I've sang it. How many people have recorded this song? It's been recorded by like 22 different people. Wow. Different people. And you allowed them to do it? Yeah, because when, when you write something in 15 minutes, can you really take any credit? I've, I've never I've never been able to take credit for any of that stuff but uh, anyway it goes like this I hope hope this blesses you <laughs> I know there's peace 
people in this world who don't believe that the things I sing about are true. Why would a man just give away his life and say he did it all for me and you? That Bible that you read It's just another book Full of fairy tales Sometimes told There's no way that I Base my whole life On a book that Was written that long Ago, but if you could have seen him turn the water into wine, or if you could have saw him give a blind man back his sign, or if you could have watched a dead man come alive, I'm sure you would change your mind.
I guess uh, before I sing this, I, I, I'll let you guys, I know most of you guys are here uh, all the times I've been here. Uh, so uh, I've got CDs and T-shirts out there. Uh, they're $15 for uh, all five CDs and a T-shirt for $50. Uh, I may get in trouble when I get back to the hotel on that one. But those of you who know me know I stay in trouble anyway. That's what she said earlier. <laughs> you know, Danny Ray also, um, you know, I'm, I'm just going to do this. I know you, you didn't ask for it, but. I'm gonna put this hat up here. You know, somebody wants to stick something in it. For I know it's a lot of gas going back to Texas. You leaving tomorrow? We we are we are leaving in the morning, going to Alabama. Alabama, okay. And then from Alabama to Colorado. Okay, so all you need is enough gas to get to Alabama. <laughs> to get to Alabama, okay. yeah. All right. So if somebody wants to stick something in our form. There it is. Thank you for that. Uh, Brother Norm said. Uh, before we uh, before we got started, that uh, he didn't know how many people were gonna show up, and uh, I'll say this: everybody who needs to be here right now is. Amen. Amen. This song. Uh, uh, some of you guys that follow us on Facebook, uh, we are uh, we're just just about to the vocal. Uh, part of uh, I'm doing some of you guys probably don't even know who the guy is but uh, anybody heard of Stephen Curtis Chapman ever yeah yeah so yeah. lots of people uh, yeah. it's it's uh, you you wouldn't you wouldn't know it by listening to me sing but I don't listen to a whole lot of country music we listen to uh, we listen to Caleb that's that's uh, uh, that's the only thing there is uh, for me because I can't I can't get enough for some reason and and, and I, I don't I don't know I don't know what it is but they keep they keep putting out uh, songs and I'll ask my wife who who uh, who was that uh, and she'll tell me you know some guy named Toby Mac no clue who that guy is uh, but. He's got good music. That's all I know. Uh, we've been, I've been working with uh, the, the uh, worship pastor from Cornerstone, uh, and we're doing an acoustic uh, Stephen Curtis Chapman tribute album because when I was a teenager, uh, the, the, I'll share this little story with you. My, my grandmother caught me listening to... Uh, Stephen Curtis Chapman, and those of you who don't know the age group I'm talking about, my grandpa is 86, and my grandmother is like 84 now. And uh, when 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 she heard me listening to this, she said, "What in the world are you listening to? You know, you've heard that." And uh, Church of God of Prophecy. So if you if you know what kind of uh, deal that was years ago it was it was a uh, very very uh religious or uh as some like to say conservative uh anyway uh i said this is contemporary christian music <laughs> and she said it sounds to me like it's going to be temporary <laughs> and uh she was wrong uh because it uh it shaped uh, me as a teenager, man. I, I didn't listen to nothing. Uh, good friends of mine, uh, Paul, Paul Staggs, Paul and Robert with Branded, they've been here to the Opry and to the church, I get probably to the church too. Uh, but he, he told me, he said, why didn't you just do a, uh, a tribute album to that era of music? And I said, well, here's the reason. I know one song by this guy, one song by this guy, one song by this guy, but when it comes to Stephen Curtis Chapman, I've had to start narrowing it down 
I got to get it down to 15 songs. And right now I'm at 45. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to not record any of them. I want to do them all. Uh, but we did get it down. I actually got it down to twelve, and we did uh, three original songs on this uh, Stephen Curtis Chapman uh, tribute album. But in the midst of trying to learn some of his songs, or learn how to play some of his songs, I came across this one that uh, you guys. I know, I know you've heard it. Is he? We will abandon it all. Remember that? It was a great song. And I started learning this thing called Dad Gad. Is literally what this is called on the guitar. It's it's D A D G A D, and and it you can't you can't play uh, the same chords. Uh, that you would normally play and I'm tuned down a half step so uh, I don't even know what key this is that I'm playing it in uh, so I started learning this song and the chords that go along with the song and God started giving me words and I, I, I write a lot but what happens usually when I write is I sit down and I come up with something new and I don't finish anything and so I've got like 40 songs that are half halfway finished. And, I, and I, every time I sit down to write, I start something else new and never, never, never finish any of it. Well, this was one that uh, kind of stuck to me and I wanted to, I wanted to write a song that if I was sitting face to face with God, what would I say to Him that He means to me? And then, if I could say one thing to you guys, what would that one thing be that I would say to you? And so I kind of put those two together. The one thing that I would say to you is one day, whether you believe it or not, every single person that's ever been born is going to have to stand before God. And He's going to have to, He's going to say one of two things. And this is just kind of the way I say it. It's not necessarily the exact words that the Bible says, but I. I kind of do the reverse of what the Bible says. The Bible says that Jesus is going to say, "Depart from me, I never knew you." But I say the I say the opposite of that. What he, what I believe he's going to say is, "He's one of mine. He's not one of mine. He's one of mine. He's not one of mine. Or she's one of mine. She's not one of mine." And I'm telling you. If you've ever not, if you if you're here tonight and you don't know that if you had to stand before him tonight, exactly what he's going to say, get it right while you still have time, because time, whether we believe it or not, I believe. I hate to believe this. I'm 43 and I got a, a two-year-old, and I don't want time to run out, but it is. And the thing I want to leave you with is if you're here tonight and you are what we say as Christians, if you're a believer in Jesus Christ, whatever that means to you, do you do every single thing that you do with the mindset of God, Jesus, is everything to me. He's everything. If if you're if you're uh, you know you got a lot of stuff going on with horses out here, are you giving it everything you got? Are you doing it all with the mindset of I'm doing this with every ounce of energy I have? I'm giving it everything because that's what Jesus means to me. He means everything. And you should do everything you do 
for him. If it's horses, you don't give him glory when you when you uh, when you get that right. It's not horses for me. I can assure you. Uh, last trail ride I went on was with a church in Liberty Hill, Texas, and they tried to kill me. Uh, <laughs> they did. They did. They tried to kill me. Uh, some of those people are probably watching. But the two things I want to leave you. If, it, if you don't have it right, get it right. And once you do get it right, or if you already have it right, make Jesus everything and love Amen. one another. Amen. Everything. 
you're doing not only individually but corporately father here in this place and lord right now for for danny ray lord i would ask father god that you continue to uh, speak through him to anoint him father god and by the power of your holy ghost lord that he share the word of god lord the unadulterated word of god lord that everywhere he goes father god that people would know that he has spent time with you and that out of the pores of his body would uh, flow the anointing oil to pour onto those that he comes in contact with. Lord, that they'd be different, Father God, when he left and when he came. So, Lord, for us on this night, Lord, I, I pray, Father God, that we draw an eye unto you. Uh, Lord, and I, I know, Father God, that you're knocking on everybody's door here tonight, Lord, so... Father God, I pray that we open up our hearts and our minds and let you in. In the name of Jesus, amen. 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 